for the last 13 years of my life has been inside a squared circle. For the last 13 years of my life, I have dedicated every day to pro wrestling. I started training at 15 years old. At 17, I made my debut. And at 31 years old, I can sit here and reflect on those last 13 years. I'm never one to bestow my own accolades or accomplishments. But I'll remind the world, and I'll remind myself, sometimes I have to. You see, the bulldozer Matt Tremont has been in countless deathmatch tournaments this past decade, and eight times I came out victorious. Eight time deathmatch tournament winner. I'm a two time world heavyweight champion for two of the biggest companies in the world. I've traveled here, I've traveled there. As a kid, I was mesmerized by the genre of hardcore wrestling. And I saw countless men do what they do best to influence me, for me to do what I've always wanted to do. And all I've ever wanted to do was be hardcore. As we near 2020, I look back on all those accolades and those accomplishments and all the miles up and down the road, domestically and internationally. This business owes us nothing. I owe the business nothing, but in return, it's given me so much because of the blood that I've spilled on countless canvases all around the world. And it's given me so much. It's been able for me to provide a living for my family, doing what I do best. Scarring my body from head to toe. Is it all worth it? That's the question I ask myself a lot anymore. Because after all these years and all those accolades and accomplishments, sometimes at the end of the show, I find myself by myself, thinking about all that. Thinking about the next thing that's supposed to motivate me to keep the fire inside of me burning, to keep me going within the confines of this squared circle. What's going to keep me going and keep me motivated to keep spilling the blood? Anybody who's anybody who ever wanted to be hardcore. We all got one goal. And as an American gaijin, that's to go to Japan. And after all I've done in this great sport, to me at the end of the day, if this all ended tomorrow and they gotta bury me six feet under, because that's how I approach every day in life and in this ring, what are people going to remember about Matt Tremont? And to me, the biggest thing of them all that they write on my tombstone and the obituary when they read the articles in the magazine and online, Matt Tremont was the guy that called Onita out 
brought him to the United States. And then I went to where every man in this great sports that applies their craft in this genre strides for Japan. I did that two years ago. I danced with Onita. The ropes were down, the barbed wire was set, and explosions went off in front of 3,300 people on a shipping dock in Japan. And I got blown up by the greatest of all time. If you could have told a kid at 13 years old that one day, Matt, you would go to Japan and wrestle Onita and get blown up in explosions, I'd say you a liar. But I did it. It happened. But since then, I find myself back to what I said earlier, by myself. What's keeping me going? What's keeping me motivated after all these years? What is left to accomplish? What can I set my sights on knowing, all right, this is what's motivating me to keep doing this to my body, keep putting my family through, and me through. And that's Japan. I got a few unmarked boxes on the checklist. You see, that when I went to Japan two years ago, I thought I'd never have the chance to go again. I didn't get the wrestling Corgan Hall last time. I didn't get to do this, and I didn't get to do that. So the motivation and the fire in me is to go back to Japan and do just that. Maybe even the fans are pondering now, Matt, you don't have to do anything anymore. There is nothing left for you to prove, but there is. The fire inside of me is that Japanese deathmatch fire, because at the end of the day, I will always be a deathmatch warrior. And I sit here before you to tell the entire wrestling world that the past is the past and the future is on the horizon and that is what I'm looking forward to, and that's what's motivating me. And I sit here before you right now to tell the whole entire wrestling world that when GCW returns to Japan in February 2020, the most decorated American deathmatch performer of all time is coming back to Japan unfinished business in the land of the rising sun. <laughs>